Guess who's back? Back again. The King of Games is Yu-Gi-Oh! I've obtained my first Blu-ray disc and it is fucking amazing. And I thought, you know what, if I'm going to choose a Blu-ray, I might as well choose my first one to be a movie that I love. When I went to go to cinema to see this movie, I was thought, you know what, I'm buying the Blu-ray of this one. So I went into HMV, they fucking had the Blu-ray. I went into fucking Asda and they didn't have the Blu-ray version, so I went to HMV and they got it. And it includes an exclusive a training card game, a uh, tra training card inside, so I can't wait to actually unbox this. Wow, I just ripped the fucking stick off. I ripped the box out. Like, no! It's that they're already open because that's where the security tag was. HMV are very protective about their stuff. Like, they don't want no one taking their shit. Like, they have like security on the front doors as well going into the place. You know, I've been holding off on Blu rays for quite a while. Um, I'll probably talk about it in another video about why I never went for Blu rays. Yeah, here it is. I can't wait to see the card inside. The, the slipcover itself looks majestic. You've got the artwork at the back. Down here as well, you get the, the, some cutscenes from the actual movie. They don't give off too much spoilers, so that's good. And you've got your nice bio about it if you want to read up on it. Now, on to the actual Blu ray case itself again the same style artwork is the same as a slip cover they could have done with a different design um, but personally I think they did a pretty good job with this one You've got the magna symbol there so that's pretty good let's open this up funny enough oh my god oh my god I wonder what car that is is it obelisk to torment if it's fucking obelisk by god they ruined it on the name oh wow I'm just gonna hit the disc out for a second Look at that fucking blue eye with Seto Kaiba, everybody. Fucking hell. He's badass. You know what? I'm just throw the disc down. I'm paying more attention to the artwork. Oh my god. It's a fucking poster. <laughs> it's a poster. They are so generous. But um, yeah, when I went to go get this, I'm, I'm basically going to be 23 in August, and this is like a PG film. I've got asked for ID. I have no idea who they get working. Literally asking me for ID. It's fucking ridiculous. I know it's my first time buying a Blu-ray, but fucking hell. I mean, here's the disc, everybody. Feels different around the edges, I could tell you that much. I've been holding in so many DVDs. My much more smoother around the edges when you go around. If you compare it to a disc one, you would know just by feeling it. It's so much more smoother. Now, the moment of truth. The one that we've been waiting for, what's in this? What could it be? Oh my god. I'm gonna try and open it without having to ruin it because I've been used this to put it back in. I'm just gently trying to peel it away, like opening a packet of crisps. Okay, I can see the one card. Oh my god, the moment of truth. I'll just get it out. God damn it, used to Craig and me. And it's the Nobilus the Tormentor. Yay! Wow, they gave me Obelisk the Tormentor in the Blu-ray one. If they give me the exact same one in the normal DVD, I'm going to be so jacked off. But I'm not that disappointed. I was hoping for like a Blue Eyes White Dragon. I have no idea if you get others in each one of your ones. But I've got Obelisk the Tormentor in gold, so that's two of these now. But yeah, there you go. That's Yu-Gi-Oh! Dark Side of Dimension. Unboxing. I hope you guys enjoy. Please remember to click the like button below, subscribe to my channel, and keep being awesome. But until then, take care. Yu-Gi-Oh! Oh. I can't put this little crowd back in. Yu-Gi-Oh!